Resentment is a natural and human feeling, but too much resentment is a waste of good energy and gets in the way of positive change. I'm Karen Sieger, a psychotherapist and writer, and today I would like to talk with you about resentment. Where does it come from? What does it feel like? Why is it so risky and what can we do about it? Often people say, I can't walk away from resentment, I can't walk away from my anger, because that would mean that the other person or the situation that is caused it in the first place has won. I will not admit defeat. I don't see it like that at all. Walking away from resentment or walking away from our anger means we make a very positive and informed choice in terms of how we deal with the situation. We make a choice about not getting stuck in those feelings that will ultimately continue to disempower us. Often anger and resentment occur when we feel disempowered, when someone or something has started to make us feel very small and very insignificant. Walking away from resentment means walking away from feeling disempowered about something that has happened. And when I walk away, I increasingly get a sense of me and you. So walking away from a situation that has made us feel resentful means I'm walking away from this or I'm walking away from you because I'm going to take care of myself. Walking away from a situation, walking away from resentment and anger sometimes means that we have to let go of not being able to convince the other person to look at things from our perspective. And often it's that that keeps us stuck in those situations, but ultimately we might have to let that go. Keeping up feeling resentful takes a lot of energy. And the longer we feel resentful, the more we lose in self-belief, the more we lose in our power, in our self-esteem, in our self-worth. Now, you may say that's all very well, but the situation that I feel resentful about is something that happened a long time ago. It's in the past. Perhaps the people that have caused me resentment are no longer alive or I'm no longer in touch, but I hold the feeling about what happened and I still feel angry about it. You may say, well, actually there is not much I can do about it now because walking away from the situation that is causing me resentment means walking away from a lot of security that I may have and if I do this then I'm faced with a lot of uncertainty and I don't want to do that. So I understand dealing with resentment and looking at the choices that we have in our lives is not easy. What I suggest you may do is A, realize you feel resentment. B, have a think why that is. What are you resentful about? C, befriend the idea that it might be possible to let go of resentment in a way that does not make you feel the victim, that does not make you feel giving in. If you can start to understand the link between disempowering yourself because of the resentment you hold, then that will be a very important insight. If you can start to befriend the idea that you might actually have some choices in your life and that there are things that you can do about difficult situations, then you will start to sow some seeds and in time you will actually grow confident in doing something about whatever situation you may find yourself in now or past situations that are still affecting you now. I've written a couple of articles on this which you might find of interest. The links are in the uh, section below this video on YouTube or visit my website karenzieger.com. 
I hope to have given you a bit of food of thought today. Thank you for watching and I wish you well. Bye bye.